What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we are doing a gameplay with the new Spotlight Sim Ja Morant card. Honestly, I thought that we were going to get a Ja Morant card in whatever generation next type set there is going to be, which is coming at some stage. In fact, we have not seen an Opal Luka yet, means I'm almost certain it's coming. In fact, we have seen, not seen Opal Zion yet, means I'm pretty sure it's coming. I have a weird feeling that that generation next set is going to probably have a reward of either Zion or Ja Opal with Opal Luka and Opal Zion. So yeah, um, this is one of the new cards in the Spotlight Sim Moments cards. Yeah, the cards weren't the greatest today, but you know what? They weren't terrible either. Hider Hero is absolutely fantastic. If you guys have not watched the gameplay, watch it now or watch it after this. He is absolutely fantastic. And now we are on to Ja Morant. So Jam Around is 99.96, got 31 Hall of Fame badges, Volume Shooter, Difficult Shots, Acrobat, Teardropper, Relentless Finisher, Anchor Breaker, Floor General, Tireless Shooter, Slippery Off Ball, Dimer, Range Extender, Green Machine, Flexible Release, Clamps, Dead Eye, Tight Handle, Stop and Go, Space Creator, Quick First Step, Pogo Stick, Needle Threader, Downhill, Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, uh, well, a lot more, and 23 goals as well. He only has Gold Quick Draw, which is a little bit of a negative, but you know what? Gold is fine. Gold or above is fine. Obviously, Hall of Fame is preferable, but gold is still fine. He's got a great driving layup. I think it's easier, well, somewhere between 96 and 99. Three ball of 93 without the shoe. He's got 91 mid-range shot, 97 driving dunk with a tendency of um, 100, I'm guessing. Yeah, 100. Also got 92 ball handle, great passing IQ and accuracy. Got solid perimeter defense and steel, but not particularly good, but they're solid. He's got speed, speed balling acceleration of 95, pretty good, 95 lateral quickness. Checking, he only has gold clamps, doesn't he? I've just realized that. Does he come with Hall of Fame clamps? If he has Hall of Fame clamps, which I probably said, yeah, he's a Hall of Fame. Okay, that's better. So he's basically this guy right here, Russell Westbrook. Like, yeah, he's got seven extra Hall of Fame badges, but Westbrook's stats are probably that little bit better. So they're, he's a very, very similar card to the Russell Westbrook in terms of like range extender, being able to shoot, being able to dunk and everything. But uh, yeah, so anyway, this is the team we are running with. This is Jam Morant. Now let's get on to the hot zones and release for Jam. Then we're going to get on to the game. So Jam Morant is going to hot zones everywhere except for one spot on the floor. Release. Jam's release always this year has been pretty good. They've all, well, it's, he's definitely been on the good side release wise all year. Handle, I think, is pretty good as well. Going to the basket. I think he is obviously going to the basket. I think he could honestly just be a better Westbrook. And as we could be looking at this card as more so than just a better also Westbrook. I don't know what price he's going to be. I'm pretty sure he's not even a buyout right now, which, like, he realistically should be about 35-40k. Anything more than that is probably overpriced, but, like, he's very, like, De'Aaron. He's basically a De'Aaron Fox at range extender. But the release is definitely nice on Jamarant. Like, I haven't used Jazz since his Ruby card at the start of the year, and his Ruby card was really nice back in the day before people kind of realized the importance of clamps. Well, for me, anyway, before I realized the importance of clamps, his Ruby card was definitely good. But, um... Yeah, he's going to obviously be a fairly good point guard. Do I think he'll be a game changer? Probably not, but uh, he should be quite a good card. So anyway, now we're going to green one three and come on, come on. Now let's get on to the game. Okay, so playing is Dwayne Wade, Clay Thompson, Paul George, Iguodala at small forward. That's a bit of a confusing one. And then last player is Chris Bosch. So we should, like, we're, we're fine. Like, I don't know why I said we should be. We are fine. We are not, I'm not worried in the slightest about this, but I you just never know. Sometimes games you should win, you end up losing, especially if he's someone who knows how to use weight. So you can, we get some space, which we can. And I completely sell the release there for three. That's a dumb shot to take. That's short, unlucky. Drop back, see what he's want, see the way he wants to play with these guys anyway. Clay Thompson's a cone, so it's not like it's not like he's a threat. Oh, why did we Why did we leave the shooter wide open? Just like that. Just like that, we are down by six points to start the game. We got an open shot there with Jamarant. No, it's not open at all. It's a 98% contest. That being said, Jamarant should be open up this screen because of the way Wade's playing it. Should be able to get him with this one. And he turns like a train, but it does not matter. Jamaran still manages to get the dunk. He turns slower than me in real life right there and still managed to get by him. Um, let's, let's go. Let's get in the line. 
That is our board. Let's push. Let's push. He can push it. Straight line. We have a lane. Good pass by Ja to a wide open Mello who knocks down a three. It's a two. Damn. All right. So we still have got a okay lead. We're saying not an okay lead. Oh, We're back kind of in the game anyway. Like it's only a two point deficit. If we let him get one or two more scores in a row, then it could have been a bit of a problem. Have we let him go maybe 10 up or something? But no, nah, we are perfectly fine. We've got him with that. And he's we, we've hit him twice on them type of ones where we just kind of dragged them one direction and gone directly back the other direction. So we've not been able to get a three-point hunt at all with Jamarant. And that's our first time really being open and we completely sell the release. Telling you, Jam around with Hall of Fame Quick Draw would be nice. That really is a nice release. It's just Hall of Fame at this stage. Hall of Fame Quick Draw is a big, big plus. It's definitely a useful releasing without it, but I'd much rather be Hall of Fame than Gold. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Completely clamping him. Completely clamping him here. Completely clamping him. He's had to put up a last second shot right there, and we have space on the break, I think, and Jam around greens it. That moving three is the most ridiculous shot in this game. Like, if you can't... Like, if that's a big part of defense, like, if you can't stop that moving three, you're you're not going to be any way de even decent at this game because it's such an overpowered move in this game that if you let your opponents shoot them constantly, it's not going to end well. There we got him. Easy layup, and he blew it. I don't know what I triggered right there, but I blew the layup anyway. Whatever it was didn't work. Jamaran, three of five, or three of eight and one of five from three. His only three-point shot being um, one off, one that was moving. Jamaran from mid, hits it, but it's still not a green. We've still not been able to green a standing shot with him. All right, let's see if we can connect or just give the ball to Kat. Good pass and nice dunk. All right, tie game here. We are really playing badly to start off this game. Like saying I'm playing bad is an understatement, but you know what? It's still, it's a long, long game. So we're fine. I can deny that. That was the most obvious pass I've ever seen thrown. Just get some space. Three-point hunt. We've done a really bad job of three-point hunting here because we haven't connected off screens. But at the same time, we've been three-point hunting and then just cutting back. And that's been um, working every single time. So yeah, this guy's defense is definitely a bit suspect. He's actually done a good enough job of stopping me get three pointers, but his defense in general is very suspect. Oh, nice. Arrow, oh, he blew it. Who is that? Oh, it's Ray, I was about to say it's an arrow three, and it's like, Ray Allen can't shoot that. It's not a guarantee, every three Ray Allen's an arrow three. They have fought over every screen. There we go. Ja. How is Larry Bird falling at his ankles? An 84% contest. Like, Larry was literally on the ground. Either way, we're still going to build up a little bit of a lead here. Ja is literally Westbrook. He is literally... You can watch my Westbrook video and Ja is literally Westbrook. Like, it is actually... Like, it's all preference. Ja is Westbrook slash Wall slash... Um, trying to think who's in that tier. It'd be Westbrook, Wall, De'Aaron Fox... Jay Williams, um, Derek Rose. He's in that tier of players. Whether you consider him one of the best or not is purely subjective. I think he probably is one of the best. But like, no, I just, I don't think he is that relevant to card. Wide open and greens the three. Good shot there by Ja. We're gonna double for some reason. And they're doubling off a shooter. Doesn't really make much sense because Cat can hit that shot at a very high rate. I'm really sure Cat is a 99 3 with the coach like. Let's wait back. We're in position. Oh, he's too open. We cannot give Pete Maravich an inch of space. Cannot give Pete Maravich. I've ne yet to come up against anyone using this Ray Allen though. This is the first time I've ever played against Amethyst Ray Allen because he's basically the same as the uh, Ruby. And everyone just had the Ruby token where no one used the Amethyst like. Okay, it's open. And it's a sell, but it goes in. Here we go. Jazz still 70. Like, Jazz 17 points. He's outscoring the other team. Not like he's having a bad game. Not like he's a bad card. He's just kind of... We've already seen this card. And we've seen this card a million times before. Pete Maravich off screens is ridiculous. 
I am not very, like, I'm fantastic at Pete Maravich, and I'm not very good at stopping him. That's a bad release, and Ja knocks it down. Let's go. And Ja's been a lot better since the start of second quarter. But still, to Ja on the move. Bad release, but he hits it. Just like that, Jazz hit three whites in a row. We have a 14-point lead in Jazz 23. There we go. We've got, realistically, we've got Simmons, who's just Simmons. And then we got Hero, who's a threat out of pick and rolls. Kurolenko is arguably the best cone in the game. And KD is, KD's KD. KD's very good. There's just, some, there's just something about KD. I just don't like him. There's no, I can't put my finger on why. Because he does shoot well for me. He plays good defense. There's just something about the Kevin Durant card. And I love Kevin Durant in real life. There's something about the card this year that I don't really like. And it was the same like in other years. I'm not the big, never really the biggest fan of KD. And there we go. We got the rage quit. So now we're going to play a game of triple trap. And then that will be it. Okay, so he is matching up to Steve Nash. I'd actually much rather if he would match to Harden, to be honest. But you know what? Not the worst thing in the world being matched to Steve Nash here. Steve Nash is a good, not great defender in this game. We didn't get anything on that one. To be fair though, we have been literally just cutting back. I've literally just been behind the back dribbling off. Those, we should connect here. And peekaboo, bad release. Wasn't even a good shot to take though, to be honest. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Get your stamina up. We can literally just zigzag cross him. And Isaac make or not Isaac, Morant makes the layup. Let's go. Go, Ja. You should be good. I just called him Isaac. Have I been calling him Jonathan Isaac the whole video? If I've been calling Jam around Jonathan Isaac the whole video, this is going to be a bit of a disastrous gameplay. There might have to be a disclaimer at the start of this video. Hopefully, I was just a once once off slip up, and I have not been calling him Jonathan Isaac this whole video. As Jam around hits another shot, let's go. All right, his release isn't is not it's not fast enough to be elite. Straight up, he he's not he's not tall enough to be a defensive player. He's not good enough on defense to be a cone. Um, his release isn't fast enough to be elite in the pick and roll. So he's just kind of meh. Like he's a good card, but we've honestly seen this exact card with slightly different animations a hundred times. Well, actually, not like probably seven times. We've seen basically this exact same card, copied and pasted with almost identical stats. So I don't think that this card is anything spectacular. And I don't really think that it, he's really worth buying. Unless you're a massive Grizzly fan, I don't think Jamarand is worth really picking up. Because he's not cheap. He is not cheap at all. Like he's probably got like he's barely better than Jay Williams. And Jay Williams is 5k MT. Like that's the way I am. That's the way you have to look at things. Like, he's barely better than a 5k MT card. So, if you are out, like, yeah, fair enough. If you want to spend, like, 25, 30k on go for it. But anything more than that, you're, if you're spending any more than 30k on Jamarant, you're way overspending. You're not even slightly overspending. You are way overspending. Got a step on him. Right to the basket. Harden can't defend anybody. It's easy. Okay, let's get a, let's get a stop here. I haven't gotten a stop in quite a while. Um, we're waiting. And we've left Steve Nash just keep shooting wide open. Good board but there by Ja. Okay. He's left Ja wide open for three. Bad release. It's just something about it. There's something about the release that I don't like. And we have just ran a full circle around. You got to curve to the basket. Don't let him get bumpy. He's got clamps. Any other clamps, if they get bumpy with you, then it's uh, your player's just going to be stopped in the spot. If you get bump, if you don't let them get bumpy, you're fine. That's literally it. If they're not able to bump you, clamps is not going to come into effect. That's a good shot there by Nash. Like this guy's all right. He's all right. Just has not got bumpy enough times with Jamrat. He did. He did it right there, but he's not been. He's not been good enough at just either stopping screens or bumping Jad to slow him down. We've actually, we're in a really good position here. And um, he should not be able to guard this. And um, we sell that shot completely. That should have been a green. And they go and sell that one with Harden, but it goes in. 
All right, this is a two-point game. I think a curve run, it will be work fine here. Just kind of around Shaq just to stop him. Yeah, curve run right to the basket, and Shaq goes and gets the block. We almost got it. We got by Nash anyway. It's a bad release, but Harden hits it. We're down. I'm pretty sure we are 14 to 6. Let's open. Anja hits on the move. Let's go. We need we need to stop here. We can't let him shoot hit a three here. If he hits a three, he's one possession off win. That's a bad shot. Lands in his hands. Let's go. Moving. Ja green. There we go. We just need a score. This is is game over here. We're not. If we really want a two, we can get a two. Okay, he's he's only three. He's three point hunting. He's not gonna look to go for two. So I can literally just play up as high as I want on him. Because he's not going to look for the two with any of his players. He's gonna dribble out with Harden. Yeah. He will only shoot the three here. And he's shooting with Harden. We're completely, we completely clamped him here. We completely clamped him. He could have easily gone to two plenty of times on offense, then went for one when it was just too late. A okay, curve cut, Shaq's not there. Curve, go towards the sideline and curl back in. Jad, go for the dunk. Oh, come on. 97 dunk, you gotta be at least going for dunks here. I just find it annoying when players are three-point hunting because they're just running, he's just running out to the three-point line. I can't believe I didn't realize this earlier in the game. I would have stood. I would have had this game well over it by now. Easy fast break three there by Ja for the game. So anyway, that is the video. Ja is a good card, but again, like Ja Moran, John Wall, Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, Dame Lillard, De'Aaron Fox. Um, is there any others? Jay Williams. All these guys are basically reskins of the same card with slightly different animations. Like, again, which one's better? It's all personal preference, but he's in those type of players. So if you think Westbrook's good, then Jazz is going to be good. It's all personal preference who's the best. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.